The handover ceremony started by decorating the incoming chief of defense forces from a three-star general to a full four-star general before he was handed over powers that comes with the office. <laughs> The same incoming chief of defense forces has been deputy for the last four and a half years and at the same ceremony, he handed over his office to the new deputy CDF Lieutenant General Peter Eluelu, the former commander land forces. The outgoing CDF, who has also been appointed state minister for internal affairs, as the successor to be on the lookout of threats by the terrorists. In spite of these isolated cases of, uh, of threats, we are generally stable. Due to the instability in DRC and South Sudan, and then of course the publicized hostility to the Southwest of our frontier, we experience also sometimes episodes of insecurity adjacent to these borders. The UPDF has nevertheless effectively managed to counter all these threats and we are in large measure peaceful and stable across the country. The humble looking general also tasked him badly to work hard to improve the welfare of the officers. Unfinished but are very important and require your keen attention. Welfare, housing for troops. The concept for these houses is complete and is now a bankable project. It was captured in the budget speech, albeit without requisite funding. I, hear, I had people cheer at Kololo, but when we looked be, below the, uh, the veil, uh, the money wasn't there. So I would want to caution that rather than wait for the big bang approach of doing all at once when money is available, it is advisable to scale this ambition and start with modest numbers of houses at a time for our service personnel. General Mbadi, who hails from Kasese, joined Uganda People's Defense Forces in 1986. He worked in various army divisions, including being President Museveni's chief bodyguard. He pledged cohesion among the officers. Because you made a good foundation by your predecessors, made by your predecessors, I promise that uh, I will pick from there and then uh, make my contribution, just like everybody else has made his, but in the direction of making things better, making our force more effective, more efficient, more account. The incoming Deputy Chief of Defense Forces, Lieutenant General Peter Eluelu, who is the former Commander Land Forces, commended President Museveni for the opportunity to serve the country. I also want to give thanks to my President and Commander in Chief, His Excellency General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, for the trust. He has always put in me. Even when the world has rejected me, he has never. He has always stayed on the path of truth. For he has nothing in him, but he has the spirit of truth. The Minister for Defense and Veteran Affairs, Vincent Sempija, was the chief guest at the handover ceremony. He pledged his support to the UPDF bosses to keep the peace, stability and security of the country. All of you generals who have been promoted on behalf of my brother Jacob, for both for both, and uh, our sister who is not here, we want to wish you success in your new assignments. And on behalf of that team, I wish to pledge commitment to working together with you in pushing the UPDF from the good standing 
your predecessors have left it at to greater heights. Philip Aguta, UBC News in Kampala.